everyone happy monday welcome back to metaphysical mondays at the fossil cartel i'm susan i'm going to share with you the healing properties of this month's first stone which is peridot i did i want to let you know that i did a series of cleaning videos for cleaning your stones some of them are for physically cleaning your stones and one of them is for metaphysically cleaning your stones and i'm going to put the link for that in the comments below so happy birthday to all the August babies. Uh, you have a really pretty, I think, birthstone, which is peridot. I'm wearing some right now. So in ancient times, peridot was considered a protective stone, and it was known to keep the evil spirits away. And to this day, it is known to do that as well. And by the way, I get uh, most of my um, information from the Crystal Bible, and we sell it here in the store. It's by Judy Hall. It's a great book. It has pictures, although for some reason the picture of the Howlite is not correct. Um, and it has all the healing properties, and there's an index in the back. So if you're looking for a particular ailment, like if you have headaches, you want to see what stones would be good for that, you can look up headaches in the index, and it'll tell you all the stones. And then all the stones are list listed alphabetically, so it's really easy to look them up. So other healing properties for peridot are, it's known to be a cleanser, detoxifier. It purifies the subtle and physical bodies and mind. It opens, cleanses, and activates the heart and the solar plexus chakras and releases old baggage. It relieves burdens or guilt or obsessions. Those, those are cleared from peridot. Peridot teaches that holding on to the past or people is counterproductive. I should give some of this to my college boyfriend because he's pretty stuck in the past. Doug, if you're listening, I'll send you some. <laughs> um, it also shows you how to detach yourself from outside influences and to look to your own higher self for guidance. Peridot releases negative patterns and old vibrations so that a new frequency can be assessed. And if you have done all the psychological work, peridot assists you in moving forward rapidly. It helps you understand your destiny and your spiritual purpose. It alleviates jealousy and resentment, spite and anger, and reduces stress. It enhances confidence and assertion, but without aggression. It motivates growth. Like I was in my last video, I was talking about nature and how all the green stones uh, represent new growth, can help with new growth, and peridot is definitely one of them. So it motivates growth and helps bring about necessary change. It assists in looking back and finding the gift or the lesson in, the pa in your past experiences and how to forgive yourself. It promotes psychological clarity and well-being, and it Peridot is attuned to the attainment of spiritual truth and regulates the cycles of life. It sharpens the mind and opens you to new levels of awareness, banishes lethargy, bringing to your attention everything you've neglected consciously or unconsciously. And with Peridot's aid, you can admit mistakes and move on. It helps you take responsibility for your life especially when you believe, when you're one of these people that believe everything is somebody else's fault. So if you know somebody in your life that's like that, give them some peridot. It can greatly improve di difficult relationships. Physically, it has a tonic effect, healing and regenerating tissues. It strengthens the metabolism and benefits the skin. It aids in the heart, the thymus, the lungs, the gallbladder, the spleen, intestinal tract, and ulcers, and strengthens the eyes. And if placed on the abdomen it, in giving birth, um, it's, it helps by strengthening the muscle contractions but lessening the pain. And it helps balance bipolar disorders and overcomes hypochondria. Another good one for bipolar is lipidolite. So it's a great stone for all sorts of reasons. If you don't have some, I encourage you to get some. We have lots of peridot. Peridot is an interesting stone because it comes from the deepest place in the earth next to the mantle. And at one point in time, it was pushed up to the surface. So it's uh, very deep. Another name for peridot is olivine. So peridot is a type of olivine. 
and sometimes you can find them in meteorites. We have some, they're called cerecho meteorites that have the olivine in it. Those are called palisite type of meteorites. This is some tumbled peridot. Now it's hard to find big pieces of peridot. You can occasionally, but they usually save those for jewelry and cut them up. We've had a couple of big crystal peridot pendants that went for a few hundred dollars because they're so rare. But we have a lot of the little tumbled peridot. We also have a few more pieces left of the rough peridot, and these tend to be a little bit bigger, actually a lot bigger than the little tiny tumbled pieces. And then we have clusters of peridot. This, these are from the San Carlos mine in Arizona. Just little pieces of peridot on top of, it looks like basalt, I think, I'm not sure. And so we have small and we have medium clusters. And then we even have really big ones. Oh boy, this is heavy. <laughs> like this one, a big old hunk. Lots of peridot on it. And we even have peridot trees, the gem trees made by my dentist. Really pretty. And lots of peridot jewelry. So we have the long chip necklaces, and we have the short chip necklaces. Now you might find these are a few different prices, and it has to do with the quality. Sometimes it's the size of the stone, sometimes it's the clarity and the color. So the prices can vary. We also have little chip bracelets for seven dollars and we have the chip earrings in the cluster and then also the single line ones. And we have lots of sterling silver and peridot jewelry. Here's a bracelet, link bracelet with a toggle clasp. Here's a nice ring with a big stone. Here's a pendant with a big peridot. And all sorts of pretty styles of earrings too. So come on down or check it out on our website. We have lots of great peridot. Happy birthday to you August babies and have a great rest of your week. Tune in for our Wednesday updates at 2 o'clock and I will see you then. Have a good, good day. Thanks. Bye.